Howdy tidy everybody, this is Tommy with Colonel Rev Scale Models coming at you this fine Saturday morning <clears throat> with a final, final reveal of my Pearl Harbor group build that was hosted by Charlie Mack and Al Wood. Um, <clears throat> as you know from my previous reveal, uh, I had finished the, um, I showed you the setup but I hadn't finished the base. So I've now finished the base. I've decided to go with um, something I just happened to come across that was a water uh, display for a tabletop uh, kit that I had with two uh, Japanese ships. And I saw it and I said, you know what? I could probably just put that on the base and then I wouldn't have to worry about doing land and I wouldn't have to worry about doing the flag taping and all that, which I can try to do on another uh, base. So I took this cardboard insert that came with a kit that shows waves. Now imagine two 1200 scale Japanese plane sitting on it. Um, but that's what the kit came with. So then I took it to Staples and blew it up. And this is what I have. So it's my two fighters. Again, the P-40 in pursuit of the Zero and over the ocean, right? Since it's Pearl Harbor, they've been flying both over land and over ocean. So this is what we have. Now in the last video, I didn't have the prop blur on the um, zero, so everything is some fi everything is finished. Um, there's a little bit of weathering, uh, not a lot. Um, I figured there wouldn't be too much since it was early in the war, and I don't think the zeros off the carriers would have had a, a lot of action in China. But who knows? Never really looked into it. But that's the zero. They have the same. It has the same prop blur as the other. I went back over the paint with my 0 .003 millimeter um, Artist Illustrator pen to bring out some more of the panel lining. Did the same thing with the zero, both on top and underneath, even though for that, it doesn't really show up as well. More so for the underneath than it does for the top since it's all drab. But as you can see, the P-40 pilot is in hot pursuit, going in for the kill, so to speak. But there's the base. I like how it turned out now. I just gotta figure out a place to put it and display it. The kits went together really well. You know, there's always seems like there's gonna be a little bit of seam work, but uh, you know, thanks to Tom again, Tom Rambler 69 for getting the, uh, showing me in his video, the ones he used, the, the decals for Pearl Harbor for the Zero. Uh, I still have, I think, two or three, three more that I can do from that same uh, purchase. And then they went on really well. The decals on the kit went on really well. This is actually the Pearl Harbor Defender, one of the Pearl Harbor Defender uh, kits from Airfix. I'm not, I think this one is the one that's still on the shelves because I've picked up several. These are really good kits. I mean, they come with pilots. They're recess panel lines, they go together well. You're gonna have some seam cleanup, but you can detail them as much as you want. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out overall. Um, this is the company, if I can get it in the shot here, it's called Alliance Model Works. That's where I got the prop blurs, and I just ordered uh, three more packs. So they come in packs of two. This is the one I use again, is for the 70 second scale. Uh, Messerschmitt BF-109, but they're pretty fiddly, um, but like I said, on these, I painted the black uh, because the black, so these props would have been painted, and then the front, they left the metal uh, color, so, you know, just airbrushed through it with uh, Tamiya clear black, I think, the smoke color, um, and then I think next time, they do sell a uh, uh, mask that you can put on to put in the inside radius so then you can put you could paint the yellow tips um, that you have on some of the uh, on most of the planes um, but you could also cut that out with uh, with tape um, I have stencils that have circled different various circles but that's it uh, so again this is one of the Pearl Harbor defenders I think there were four that actually got airborne um, this pilot I can't remember his name now I'm keeping wanting to say Nelson but it's not uh, I don't think it is, but he had, I think, four confirmed kills or two. I can't remember. 
now it's been so long, but I talked about it in my very first entry video in my first update, I think. But that's it. So that one is officially now in the books and I'm gonna try to take some photographs and maybe put them at the end of the video. If I don't, if you don't see photographs after this video is over, then you know I didn't get a chance to do it. So anyway, fellas, hope everybody's having a great weekend. I am excited because my Ole Miss Rebels college baseball team is in the College World Series championship finals for the first time in history, playing against the Sooners from Oklahoma who are gonna be joining the league soon, probably in the next couple of years. And so we start the best two out of three. So unless you're a Sooner fan, you fellas wish me luck. Uh, the Rebs have never won a national title in, in baseball, so it'd be our first one, especially since last year our arch rival Mississippi State won their first one in school history. So it'd be great to have Mississippi do the state do it two times in a row. Um, so let's see what happens. Anyway, hope everybody enjoys the rest of the weekend. As always, hotty toddy and God bless.